Hello everybody, good morning. It is just past 10 a.m. So I'm actually doing this readathon with my patrons over on Discord. We are going to be chatting throughout the day and keeping each other company and motivating each other. I gave my patrons a bunch of books to pick from, books that I was somewhat in the mood for or interested by, mainly on my bookshelves, and I got them to vote on which ones I should read. So the results came through this morning and there are a few standout winners, so I'm going to be reading those. And also I've given myself the task of reading them in order of which ones got voted for the most. So the one that had the most votes I'm going to be starting with and that is The Deal by Elle Kennedy. I'm going to be reading that on my Kindle. That's my only Kindle book in this readathon but I think it's a really good place to start because I read much faster on my Kindle than I do with just a physical ordinary book. So yeah, The Deal by Elle Kennedy, I don't really know much about it other than it's the first book in the Off Campus series. It's very popular and I have been meaning to read it for the longest time because I know that I think book three is one that everybody really loves and I initially wanted to just read that one um, but then I thought you know what it's best just to go from the beginning of the series because I think it follows a friendship group it follows each of their romances in turn at this university so I thought that it'd be better to get introduced to the group through the first book obviously and go from there see if I want to read the rest of the series so that is the first book that I'm going to be reading during this readathon I did take a little peek at it last night and figured out that with my reading speed it'll take me exactly six hours on the dot to read this book if I was to read it non-stop. Obviously that's probably not going to happen. I'm going to try my hardest not to get distracted this readathon. You'll probably be seeing less of me but when I do pop up and let you guys know my thoughts I will have way more thoughts to share because I will hopefully have read way more than I usually would when I update. So that's the first book. Oh yeah that one got 10 votes by the way. The second most voted book with nine votes is Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Sujimura and this one I'm so excited about. I've been meaning to read this. This is on my spring TBR. Just so glad that my patrons picked this as the second book because I will... Oh, hello. Okay, just ignore that. <laughs> I don't see a way I wouldn't get around to this. I hope that I can finish it. It is on the longer side. So yeah, we'll have to see. I think I'll be probably reading this around the time that we do our live reading sprints as well. So I think that'll be good timing. It will be cozy. It will be the evening. So if you didn't know, this book is about a group of teenagers and one night their mirror in their room starts glowing and it's a portal into this castle, into this other realm basically, which is so interesting. And then I think they have to figure out why they're in the castle. And there is this really scary thing in the castle I think something like a wolf that wants to eat them. The tagline is, would you share your deepest secrets to save a friend? So I think this book is all about friendship as well, which is really nice. And I'm so excited to dive into this one later. The third book that I'm going to be getting around to in this readathon is Orange Volume 1. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be reading this. I've been trying to get a hold of this book for like two or three years now, ever since I started watching booktube. And I think it was Books for Chloe that introduced this to me. Yeah, it always sounded really cute. It's a YA romance manga. Probably tomorrow morning is when I'm guessing that I'm going to be reading this. I'm trying to be very ambitious with this readathon, but yeah, if I'm being sensible, it'll probably be right at the end of the readathon that I get to this one, which will be quite nice just to finish off with some easy reading. So funny fact, my mum actually got this for me for Christmas two years ago. Not this exact copy because she accidentally got it in Spanish. I don't know how she did that. I think she might have got it off Book Depository and I think there's been supply issues for this manga ever since COVID. I just don't think there were any copies of the English language edition. So I think she got the one that looked like it was at the top of the list and it just happened to be Spanish and she didn't notice, which is hilarious. She felt so bad and now that book's in a charity shop somewhere. I finally managed to get a copy of this at work only a few weeks ago. So I'm so glad that my patrons came through and voted for this one as the third book for me to read. I think it got seven or eight votes so they were all very close. The last book that I think I could potentially get around to in this readathon is Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones. I already started it recently, this is a copy that my sister got me for my birthday this year and I read one or two chapters of this and it's really really easy to get through, it's just a beautiful charming story. If I did manage by some miracle to get to this one I would be very happy. You might not be seeing this one in this video but yeah we'll see. Oh yeah I think Howl's Moving Castle might have got six or seven votes and then if I do manage to get through all of those which is very unlikely. The books after that only got one, two and three votes each. One of those, the ones that I got physically that got three votes is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, specifically through The Looking Glass. I obviously have wanted to read this for a while. My Patreon is an Alice in Wonderland theme, so my tiers are White Rabbit, Tasha Cat and Alice, and we have the Wonderland Book Club, we have tea party live shows. So yeah, 
yeah i love that those three patrons picked this one but yeah most likely i won't be reading this today but it has reminded me that I do need to get around to this very soon. So yes, here is my entire TBR for the readathon. Definitely wish me luck. I'm gonna try my hardest to read through as many of these as possible. Obviously, like I said, I'm gonna be going in order of the most votes. So I'm gonna start with the deal on my Kindle. I'm gonna make myself a coffee right now, settle down and start reading. Hey guys, so it's a bit later now. Sorry, my laundry in the background. <laughs> I'm over a third of the way through The Deal by Elle Kennedy and I'm really enjoying it, but I'm gonna save telling you guys my thoughts so far for when I get back from my walk. Me and my boyfriend are just about to go out because the sun's just come out and I feel like I'm getting a bit stir crazy being indoors all day. Hi guys we are back from our walk and i didn't get any reading done it was around an hour in total so i think my plan is to add an hour to tomorrow morning's reading time if i feel like it i was doing so well before that because i was pretty much reading the entire time apart from when i got something to eat so yes so yeah i thought it'd be only fair to give myself that hour back if i wanted it tomorrow if i felt like i needed it to finish whatever i'm reading tomorrow morning which <laughs> is very likely anyway i got myself an English breakfast tea. I feel like I need some caffeine in my system. Okay, so to talk about the book, I'm now on chapter 13, which is starting off with Garrett's perspective. So because I didn't really know about the book, I didn't really tell you guys what it was about. Hannah is like big time crushing on this guy called Justin. She's also just aced this really hard class her and Garrett are both taking together. So Garrett notices that he's failing the class at the moment and in order to play ice hockey and like play every single game he needs to have a grade average of i think a c plus and he's currently on a c minus because this one class is like bringing down his average because it's like really tough anyway he needs somebody to chew to him so that he won't get kicked off the team or won't have to sit out any game a lot is riding on him getting a good grade in this class so he's trying to convince hannah to take him up on this deal where he will help her get the guy help her get justin if she tutors him in this class but obviously they're gonna fall in love 100 percent. and i do really enjoy them both as characters i think i find them both very interesting i would say the one thing about this book that i'm not enjoying so far is that it has a really confusing mix of tone in regards to like sex positivity it's just very confusing because there's a lot of slut shaming there's also like sex positivity from gara and also from like some of the side characters there's a lot of weird moments as well where um hannah is kind of like sexualized by garrett's friends some of it makes me feel extremely uncomfortable so it kind of comes across as very dated on the other hand i am still like really enjoying it and think it's really fun it's just whether i can get past the attitude that the author seems to have in regards to that topic like i just i don't know what she's trying to say so yeah that's all my thoughts about this book i'm probably going to go upstairs and get into bed because i'm feeling those cozy vibes i will update you guys when i have any more thoughts Okay, I am halfway through the deal and I'm definitely liking it a bit more now. I feel like there's a lot more emotion involved and we're getting to know the characters a bit deeper and I just really love their dynamic. <laughs> 
I'm slowly enjoying this more and more. I'm definitely intrigued to keep reading and hopefully I can get through the second half of the book a bit faster. It is getting close to the live show now. I'm about to go and make some food. I'm gonna have noodles with broccoli and mushrooms. I got it as like a little treat. So I think I'm gonna make that now. Hey guys, so we just finished doing the live sprints over on my Patreon and it was really fun. Thank you to everybody who showed up and read with me. I managed to get to 77% of the way through the deal. So I'm now just an hour and a half away from finishing this book and it's only 10.30 so I could technically finish it by around midnight and that is definitely what I'm planning on doing. I'm looking a little bit haggard so I'm gonna make myself a green tea. I think I'm gonna take my makeup off, put a face mask on and settle into bed and finish this book. I feel like I've read a lot since I last updated you so like my updated thoughts is that I absolutely love the couple in this book. I love Hannah and Garrett. But I definitely think that I'm going to carry on reading the series. I really like the pacing of the romance and I think it's just really natural. Even though I am going to continue on in the series because of those reasons, I feel like I'm going to miss Hannah and Garrett so much. I know they're going to be in the other books, but they're going to be on the sidelines and I just don't know if I want to read a book where they're in the universe, but like not the main focus. Like I'm a bit worried, especially because I know the second one isn't everybody's favourites. Bit nervous. But yeah, really fun at the moment. It's sitting on, I think, a 3.5 stars. Potentially four stars actually, depending on how it ends. There's still a lot to work through with the characters. So I'm definitely like very invested in their storylines as individuals as well. Can't wait to see how this one wraps up and I will probably check back in with you guys once I've finished it. <music> Hello, good morning. My Kindle's all the way across the room, but I finished the deal last night. I finished it at like 1am. I gave it four stars on Goodreads because it was definitely closer to a four than it was to a three, but I don't know if I'm like locking in a three and a half or four stars. I don't know. Like I feel like I need to sit on it for a little bit. I thought the romance was really good, really well written. I was just so surprised that I liked it that much and yeah. I definitely love Garrett. I like Hannah a lot, but I love Garrett. I think he was a great love interest in the end and he grew on me so much. I'm so glad that I read that book. Thank you everybody who voted for it. I'm so glad that I finally read an L. Kennedy book. There were definitely some dark topics, but I think they were actually addressed really well. Yeah, I was just very impressed. I think obviously you guys know there was like one main thing that I really didn't like about the book. And also obviously it's like not a masterpiece. It would take a lot for a romance to get more than four stars for me. And I did end up going to sleep at around half past one. I woke up at half past seven. I think I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit and I'm going to read for six more hours. I'm going to start this one now. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm just gonna read in bed for a little bit. Once I'm maybe halfway through this, I think as a reward, I might read some orange volume one, but um, definitely want to get through the majority of this first before I do that. But yeah, my goal is definitely to read both of these books today, hence adding the six hours <laughs> for me sleeping. Let's get started. So it's around half past 12 now and I've gotten dressed. Believe it or not, I literally pretty much just got into other PJs. I mean, they're not PJs, they're like lounger clothes, but <laughs> still. So I've been reading Lonely Castle in the Mirror this morning. It looks like I haven't made a dent, but I am on page 95, which isn't too bad. I think part two starts on page 123. So I think what I'm gonna do is finish part one and then I'm gonna pick up orange as a little reward for getting through some of this. I'm just gonna try and enjoy the rest of the readathon as much as possible. Lots of my patrons are still reading today and like extending their readathons as well. So yeah, we're all on the same page. We're all doing a cute reading day together. So my thoughts on this book so far. At the beginning, I was like really unsure. We start with this Japanese schoolgirl called, again, I'm probably gonna say this completely wrong, but Kokoro. So we're following her. I thought maybe just cause of the nature of like how the book sounded, I thought that it would be like dual perspective and we'll be following like all the different characters, like the seven kids or like teenagers that are going to this castle but no we are following one girl we find out that she's not going to school she's not attending school for whatever reason which we do find out a 
bit later. And yeah, she's just like basically refusing to go to school. She feels sick a lot of the time. So her parents leave her at home every day by herself. Then obviously one day her mirror starts glowing and she kind of gets sucked into it. There is a girl with a wolf mask. So we meet her pretty early on in the story. I don't think this is the main character. I think this is that other character. They basically have to find this key. They can return every single day, but they have to vacate the castle before 5 p.m. Otherwise they will get eaten. I was right. There will be a wolf that will come and eat them, which is really terrifying. Like the idea of that is just like really creepy. I feel like they're very quickly lured into a false sense of security, to be honest. It's already very interesting. I am quite fascinated by the other characters, by the other teens and by the main character herself, actually, because we still don't know everything about her. Yeah, I'm just really intrigued by all of their stories and why they're all there, basically. I am dying to know what happens. And yeah, it's honestly a faster read than I thought. And yeah, not bad getting to 95 pages. So yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to try and get to 123 before taking a break to read orange i found out that there are i think three volumes in here um so yeah very very excited for my afternoon Okay, so I just finished the first part and yeah, it's just really interesting. This book is not at all what I expected it to be. It's just got a really weird pace to it and I'm just very relaxed. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe that's the point. I don't really understand. Like, I know that I'm scared for the characters because I'm like, okay, this wolf eating thing is not an empty threat. Like, I feel like this is going to happen at some point. For some reason, I'm just at ease going along with the character's life and like what's happening. Okay, now I'm having like a crisis in my mind. I'm like, what's gonna happen next in the second part? But anyway, I'm gonna put this down now. I think I'm going to grab something to eat because I'm getting hungry. I had breakfast, but it was only small. I feel like I'd really like to have some lunch and then I'm gonna start Orange, which I'm so excited about. Finally, I'm gonna start my manga of the readathon, like literally with a few hours to go. Clown, I'm a clown, I'm a clown. Okay, grab myself a snack. So I've got strawberries, raspberries and a cream egg of course a cream egg and then i've got this smoothie which is my favorite i think it's the innocent smoothie i love a green juice green smoothie so yeah i'm just gonna have this now this is not my lunch don't worry i think i'm actually gonna order lunch i don't know i'm kind of feeling a pizza which i never do but i feel like my boyfriend will be angry if he gets home and i've had pizza without him but i might just do it anyway i'm gonna have a think and i'll let you guys know okay so my food is here there was a little bit of a struggle because for some reason maps google Nobody like registered this road as an address. So literally it puts the marker on the map in the wrong place, like literally like across this massive road. A like delivery driver has dropped off my food in a park, like right next to the grass. Cause that's where it says that I live. And honestly, that was such a piss take that time because we were trying to call him and he just wasn't answering. Honestly, we've tried contacting like Google Maps and stuff and they just won't change our address. So I'm pretty convinced that I've probably like had things tried to get delivered to my house in the past and just never gotten them, which is so painful to me that I'll never know. But anyway, I'll show you my food. So I ended up getting Thai food. Sorry, I am eating on my white sheets. I am. I'm sorry if that triggers anybody, but I'm very, very careful. I'm so excited. This is only like half of it, by the way. I save the rest for like either later or like probably give it to Jamshed, to be honest, because I'm that nice. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, guys, but it is raining. I wouldn't say it's pouring at the moment. I really hope it does because that would be like the perfect conclusion to the readathon. But yes, I finished eating now. I'm going to read Orange. I'm so excited. On the day that Naho begins 11th grade, she receives a letter from herself 10 years in the future. At first, she writes it off as a prank, but as the letter's predictions come true one by one, Naho realises the letter might be the real deal. Her future self tells Naho that a new transfer student, a boy named Kikaru, will soon join her class. The letter begs Naho to watch over him, saying that only Naho can save Kikaru from a terrible future. Who is this mystery boy and can Naho save him from his destiny? The heart-wrenching sci-fi romance that has over 1 million copies in print in Japan. I'm not surprised. I know it's so popular. jody has been telling me that I should read it for a while. Obviously, like I said earlier in the vlog, I got the recommendation from Chloe right at my beginning stages on booktube.
Okay, so I read the first volume, so it's divided into three volumes. So yeah, I'm so excited to read the other two. I absolutely love this so far. I don't tend to read many manga, like I've read a lot of graphic novels, which I've absolutely loved. The only manga that I like really obsessively read is Junji Ito. So I'm so happy. This has obviously got this kind of like weird sci-fi time travel element to it so she got mailed a letter like 10 years from the future which is super interesting i can't wait to find out like how that worked how that's a thing how it happened i'm so happy i'm enjoying this so far there was one character that i was so annoyed with i absolutely hated her and i yeah i'm not gonna like spoil anything whether it's like she stays or goes i'm so glad that after all this time of like wanting to read this i actually am enjoying it because like i said i don't read much manga like i have started a couple in the past like beyond the clouds oh yeah the devil is a part timer i started both of those and just like i wasn't hooked from the beginning whereas this one i just want to know everything i'm pretty sure it's because of the letter but also because of the characters like i really love the friendship group it is currently 3 54 i'm just debating whether to try and read another part of this before the readathon ends yeah i can definitely do that from page 125 and finishes on page 195 so if my math is correct that's just 70 pages to read um so i think what i'm gonna do is make myself a hot coffee because i haven't had one of those today i feel like i really just need a burst of energy to get me through the rest of the readathon this last like two hours Good evening guys, I have finished the readathon, I got over 50% of the way through the book so we're now on part three. I'm kind of scared, I've got massive like predictions for this book and kind of theories but I can't really say any of them because of course like if I was right they would be spoilers and even if I'm not right I feel like talking about them would involve spoilers. So yeah I can't really actually say much about this but I have loved getting to know these characters more and more. It's also like kind of pleasantly surprised me in certain ways as well just like some of the parents actions. Like I felt comfortable reading this the whole time I haven't felt like too on edge even though it's probably gonna change with the third part but yes I think the writing is really great. Whatever it is works so well with this type of story. It just feels very fairy tale like and yeah i just see like all of the inspiration that comes from fairy tales as well all in all really love this so glad that i read the majority of this during the readathon and i will definitely continue to read it probably in the next couple of days unfortunately i have a dance class in less than an hour and also i'm working tomorrow and the weekend <laughs> but I'm sure I'll make some time for it because I'm just absolutely loving it. Maybe at night before I go to sleep. And the same obviously goes for Orange. I'm definitely gonna read the next two volumes in this spined up very, very soon. I just can't imagine not wanting to find out what happens in both of these stories, to be honest. Like I really, really need to know. So yeah, I'd say major success. I feel like they will both be five stars, depending of course on how this ends, but definitely the first volume of this one was a five star. I don't think I mentioned earlier, but yeah, just the way it's set up, the way that I care about these characters more than I ever have in a manga before at this early stage in a series, like it's just so good, so good. And then obviously the deal by L. Kennedy, honestly yesterday feels like a whole different like year. I have settled on a three and a half stars for it, just like, putting it in perspective with other books that I've read and what I liked and didn't like about it. I think it's a solid three and a half stars. I will be reading the next one in the series, I'm pretty sure very soon. I think once I finish the romance that I was reading before I started this readathon, once I finish that one, I think I'll download the next in the Off Campus series. Altogether, I think a very successful readathon for me. I really think it was the best call to add on the hours that I was sleeping. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons for supporting me and for doing this readathon with me as well. I had such a good time. Thank you all for watching as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very shortly in my next one. Bye.